Dear Warren, Greg, and Ajit, thank you for having us. Your teachings have not only made us better investors, but more importantly, better people. Thank you for that. My name is Rajiv Agarwal, and I am from New Jersey. I run an India-focused fund called Dudarshi India Fund. My question is related to India. Indian economy and Indian equities have done quite well in the last 5, 10, 20 years. It is the fifth largest economy and will be the third largest in the next few years. My question is, is Berkshire actively looking for opportunities in the Indian equity market and what will allow you to buy anything meaningful there? Thank you. Yeah, well, it's a very good question, and obviously India, you know, it, it, I'm sure there are loads of opportunities in a place like India, and uh, the question is, do we have any advantage in either insights into those businesses or contacts that will make possible some some transaction that uh, might, what the parties in India would particularly want us to participate. Uh, uh, I would say that that's something that a more energetic management at, at, at Berkshire could pursue uh, because we do have the reputation now. Berkshire is known, not like it's known in the United States, but it's known around the world. And, and uh, you know, our Japanese experience has been fascinating in that respect. Uh, uh, so there may be an unexplored or uh, unattended to opportunity in that area. I'm not the one to do it. Um, but that may be something that... Uh, uh, in the future, uh, it might be opportunities. There, there, there are opportunities. The question is, is, uh, is, does Berkshire have some kind of advantage in actually pursuing those opportunities against, particularly against people that are using other people's money that, that where they get paid based on asset man? Uh, on assets managed or something of the sort. I mean, there, there are plenty of people in the game who are buying and running businesses that uh, uh, do not really have our philosophy. I mean, they, uh, they, uh, uh, they're going to get rich no matter what happens, and, and uh, uh, the their payment may be based on on how much they buy rather than what they buy. Uh, so we'll see how the next management plays the game out at, at Berkshire. And fortunately, you don't have too long to wait on that. Uh, generally, I feel fine, but 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 I I uh, I know a little bit about actuarials at tables, and uh, 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 I just. Um, well, I would say this, that I, w I shouldn't be taking on any four-year employment contracts like several people are doing in this world at an age where you can't be quite sh that sure where you're going to be in four years. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you're, dead, you're absolutely right about, uh, about you, you, you have, if you were energetic, had some way to uh, become a, a buyer of a, uh, or a, 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 a party that people particularly wanted to do business with. Uh, Japan was great. And India could be great, but India and Japan aren't the same. I mean, I don't adapt myself terribly well to different different cultures, uh, and some people are really good at it. Uh, and almost anybody's better than I am. But I stumbled into one or two. But uh, that could happen in the, in, in 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 
you know, Act Two of uh, Berkshire Hathaway.